disconnect your TiVo from a power source, then using a Torx size 10, T10, we're going to remove six screws from the back. Once they're removed, I'll slide this cover off. Okay, so once the cover is off, we're going to remove this cable here, just by slightly pulling that out. And we're going to remove the screws which hold in this hard drive carrier. So there's one here, two, three, and four. And it's the same size. Okay, we can take the hard drive out now. Turn it upside down. There's four more screws to remove. Okay, now I'm going to get a new hard drive, which has already got the TiVo operating system installed. Remember which way this goes. So this goes like that. Therefore, my hard drive is going to sit like that. And we're going to put the four screws back in here, put the carrier back in, put the, four, put the other four screws back in. Plug the cable back in, put the cover on, put the six screws on, and then we can connect it back up again. You turn your TiVo back on, you'll see the welcome screen, and just wait for a while. Then you'll see this screen, and just keep waiting. Okay, after waiting about 10 minutes, or maybe just under, we're going to come up with this screen. It's going to say there's a problem found. It's not a problem, it's just that it doesn't recognise the settings on this hard drive. So what we do is you just say skip for now, select, and then it will start up. Then after it's finished starting up, we're going to erase everything. I'll show you how to do that once the introduction video has finished playing it will automatically come to CFO Central now just scroll down to settings and then scroll down to restart or reset system and then choose the bottom one clear and delete everything to, do, to continue you've got to press thumbs down three times, one, two, three, and then you've got to press the enter button at the bottom. Of the okay, after powering up, you've got to come to this screen. Now it may take up to an hour as it says, and it does normally take about an hour to clear and delete everything. Now what, what it's doing here is it's actually clearing and deleting all the settings because when you set it up from scratch, it doesn't know where you are, so you need to, depending on whether you're in Victoria or Queensland or New Zealand or wherever you may be, the settings are different. So you'll just go through the setup procedure like you did when you first bought the TiVo. After the TiVo is cleared and deleted everything, you'll come to this welcome screen and uh, just choose your country 
and follow the prompts to set it up.